This video will show you how to use the Stay Focused extension that has been added to Google Chrome for all students in the middle school. So the first thing you need to do to access the Stay Focused extension is go to the upper right hand corner of your browser and you should see a little list to the right of the address bar of any extensions that you may have installed and if you go and find the one that is a small blue circle it will say a block or allow this site right click on it and go down to options once you're inside of here you'll see um, right away it says maximum time allowed per day. You can set the maximum number of minutes a day that you'll be allowed to browse sites that you add to the block sites list. So if there's a particular site that distracts you, like Facebook or YouTube, you can add that to the block sites list and then set a time limit for the amount of time, the amount of minutes a day that you actually will spend on those particular sites. So this is really great students if you find yourself sitting down to do homework and you can't focus, you consistently are going out of the site, going away from Google Classroom or from some of the research sites and you're watching YouTube videos or you're doing other things that are taking you away from doing your homework, you can add those sites to the block sites list and then set the number of minutes, the maximum number of minutes of day that you're allowed to visit those sites. Just remember, once that maximum number of minutes is reached, you will not be able to access that site again until the next calendar day, okay? Um, another feature is if you come down here to block sites, this is where you're going to add all of the addresses for the block sites. So to do that, you can either click up here on the extension when you're on a site, or you can just put the website address here and it explains in here, do not use the HTTP code before it, just use the www.youtube.com there, okay? Um, that's if you want to block the entire site. Now, you don't have to block all of a site. Let's say you wanted to use part of a site and um, maybe it's only a certain section of YouTube videos and you want to be able to go to Mrs. Kumar's YouTube channel to watch those videos. Uh, you could go to a section of YouTube and put that specific address here and that part of the website would be blocked. So you can be very specific. It doesn't have to be the entire website. It could be a page within the website that you want to block. Here we go under allowed sites. So just like you can block sites, you might want to add Mrs. Wiederholz's or Mrs. Kumar's or Mrs. Spawn's YouTube channel to be one of the sites that you're allowed to visit, okay? Um, and once again, you follow the same rules for not typing the HTTP address. Um, you just type the www address in there, okay? Now, here is the nuclear option, and it says right here, if you activate this option, it will block sites for the number of hours you indicate independent of your active days or active hours and there's no way to cancel this once you activate it so you want to be very careful but if you're really you know you don't want to have any access to a site you could block all websites I mean that's very extreme I don't see why you would want to really do that because then your Chromebook would be rendered basically useless okay um, all websites except those allowed on my allowed sites list this would be good if you added everything you needed for a class okay like um, Google Classroom and any other sites that you may need to access um, or only websites on my block sites list okay maybe you only want to block those sites I recommend you go with the third one you already have them on that list I don't think you should go with the first or the second because you may find yourself needing to do research for a class and if you've blocked all those websites you will not be able to access those websites if you use this nuclear option so just I would say use the only option and be selective with the sites. You choose the sites that really distract you from your studying, okay? Um, and once again here, it does give you the option. Are you blocking the whole site? Are you blocking all of Facebook, all of Instagram, whatever it is that you have, or just certain types of comments, uh, content that's there? And for how long are you going to block it for? For the next hour, for the next two hours? So this would be really good. You come home from school and you just want to block everything so that you can sit for the next two hours and do your homework. You can do that right here. And when does it start right now or when my maximum time has been exceeded or at a very specific time and then you click the Nukem option okay there are some other settings in here but 
I think if you know those two areas, the block sites, the allowed sites, and then the nuclear option, you should do much better at focusing in on your study. So I hope this helps you. Um, and if you have any questions, come see Mrs. Spawn in the Media Center, and hopefully you'll do a little bit better with your homework and won't be so distracted. Thanks so much.